Yeah, Everyone knows that. me as a chip player. That's all we got. So I'm going to start out with talking about chip and we'll move into other things. Okay. So know some chip players that are curious about them. Now, I'm going to be the one to say that there, I'm seeing these tier lists where they have chip in these weird spots. I'm just going to be honest with you. Chip is definitely A tier in this, in this, in this current beta. Chip is A tier. Like 100%. That is my personal opinion on them, and I'll make my own tier list later on, and I'll explain why. I think Chip is 100% A tier in this build. Now, I get it. He doesn't have Milia stuff. His Oki's a little wonky. That that all can be fixed and discovered and figured out as time moves on. But the stuff that I figured out suggested that he has so many ways to crush mad characters now. It's it's, it's almost, and by the way, feel free to talk amongst yourself. I am still reading chat though, but I'm not talking about Chip. So Chip got buffed to the point to where his combos are more consistent they do still require timing because the new juggle uh gravity is a little different from last beta because last beta people were just flying high i think they can still readjust the gravity a tiny bit to help for a little bit more consistency but even still now with that without that his his, his, his combos are totally much way way more consistent now way more consistent um doing 200 damage mid-screen to wall break off a of 6k is tremendously huge for chip tremendously huge 6p anti-air was great you know everything chip did through it threw them to the corner which was great that was phenomenal that is a hundred percent great thing that they did for him right and it's a universal change for everybody right so 6p hard knockdown where you go 6p into resho and you knock them across the screen and you and you tech and you tech chase now you don't have to media them per se you just gain the real estate and you control the corner now so from mid screen 6p resho they go straight to the corner off of a tumble from the resho so you just recover and run at them and just big chill. I'm like, what's up? I see you. What do you want to do? Like, he controls the screen so well. And um, it's something that isn't being taken into consideration because everyone wants their combos and their knockdown and their oki. Six Ps in this game, the way that they designed them, they're essentially one button DPs as they always have been, but they give you something that they never gave before, which is a hard knockdown. How you doing? Chip 6P into P uh, or K Alpha Blade is nice That's because it gives you now an airborne option. Now you're not you're not hundred percent meaty. Right, but you're in the air now and you can survey them on the ground. You know? I think still the best choice of action is to 6p resho and run up. And there's big chill. Because now you have the real estate and now you can see them and you can punish them as you see fit. If they if they decide to do something, you can counter poke them. Um his buttons are about the same overall, but the biggest buff was at 6p. And I'm I'm reading people say Chip's anti-airs were bad in this beta, and I disagree. 6P was phenomenal. It, it works like the way it should. 6H is great situational anti-air. And 2H is also another situational anti-air. You also have an uppercut and then you have air throw. So there's like 6P, 6H, 2H, air throw, 5P, DP. Six anti-air options you already have. Or jump kick air to air. Or even jump punch air to air, barring the character, right? So you have like so many options. But you have maybe like four or five of them that are actually consistent while the other three are like not necessarily inconsistent but they're situational anti-airs right so there's nothing wrong with having situational things because it's suited for the situation you get used to the you, you get used to playing the game you get used to seeing the situation so you use that situational anti-air to get you your damage blue blue rc adds a whole another layer to that character and the game as a whole that people are still not even acknowledging which is nuts and i gotta eat my food before she gets cold so all things considered Chip is way more complete this, this 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 build. A good chunk of people talking bad about him just don't know how to play him. Like they know how to play XR chip and then that's it. Or maybe even plus R chip for that matter, but mostly XR chip. In terms of difficulty, mid screen or mid-ish screen off of 6k, the the dash button has a micro dash 5k 6h that will give you more damage if you can hit that link. So like when people say that the game is not hard. Yeah, the dash button makes certain things not hard, but you still have to time your dash button plink to 5k 6h for the wall break. And like, you get that, and I show people on stream this, you get literally 200 damage. Like, almost everything in this game, certain moves are going to guarantee you 200 damage. Because you're going to break the wall or get them to the wall. If they, if they don't wall break, you're, you're going to get like 170, 180, right? Maybe Oki, maybe not Oki. Barring your character. Leaf throw is so good because you can throw dps media on wake up chip leaf throw leaf throw leaf throw against characters that have uppercuts they just lose i did that shit to a leo player during the beta he kept trying to do flash kick i'm like no that ain't gonna work dog this is perfectly meaty timed you're not gonna get that off 
And he like died to like four fucking command grabs. And then things add up because his command grab is like 100 damage. You know, throws in strive are so good. So you got a command grab, it's even better. Throws are doing like 80 damage. That's humongous as like a, as a punish or like even pressure, right? So knowing that it is an, it is an auto timed media against command grabs, uh, I mean, it's auto-time meeting against reversals. That's huge. Hell, when when freaking P Potemkin does Giganter, you can command grab that shit. Like, he throws out Reflector, and Chip can legitimately command grab him through that shit. It is a legit... That, that's a, that is actually a legit punish. Because when Chip disappears from the leaf throw, he's completely invulnerable. You can only hit him on startup. So it's like plus R. It has strike and projectile invul. He's completely invul. You can still hit him, but it has to be early frames. Otherwise, Otherwise, you have to jump it. The new air dash change makes combos a little bit more consistent off air dash cancels too, by the way. So for example, chip, jump, dusk, counter hit, air dash, heavy. You won't always get a proper combo, barring the screen spacing, but if you're in the corner or close to corner, guaranteed counter, counter jump, dusk, air dash, heavy, 2, 2S, two 2H, two resho, die. I want y'all to hear this really fast. And this is a universal thing. This isn't just chip. 6Ps are not designed to give you 200 damage from an anti-air. Your situational anti-airs are the ones that are going to provide you with the bigger damage. They're teaching you that if you want to generally anti-air, this is a reliable option. If you want more, seek these options. That's the, that's the design philosophy right now with the current anti-air situation. Now, moving forward... Chip's Gamma Blade is good and bad. It's good because of what it does on Oki to bait people. Like I was coming up with setups where like you pretty much should knock them down with a uh, 5K, multiple 5K sweep, micro dash with the dash button and you plink it together. So you do two, three, six dash button and H and you do it kind of slow and Chip will micro run into Gamma Blade and it will push them away from Chip. So if they want a reversal, the reversal is going to whiff because the clone is like, boom, and it slides them out of the way. So you have to use creative Oki situations like that to stop reversals. Now, if they happen to throw a punch, the clone won't hit and they're trying to hit the clone and Chip can far slash into, into Resho and you gain pressure again. It's your turn now. But against Potemkin, same thing, right? So let's say you do um, like what I was doing since his reversal options aren't very good. And when I say that as in like his Gigantor is slow and you can leaf throw that. His command grab is six frames and his jab is like three or four frames, I believe. So what, what I was doing was 5k, 5k, sweet, gamma, micro dash, or use the dash button since they're tumbling. Use the dash button, 236, slight delay, 236 uh, dash button, delay, slash, and chip gets a, a micro run resho, which hits meaty. And it beats all of those options. Now, all it also beats Gigantor in the sense that once it comes out and he activates the uh, the reflector super, the Gigantor, Chip can block after the resho. Despite him looking like this in the animation, you can still block. So that means you beat the jab and you beat the throw. So it's a meaty option that gives you back the same scenario. So you could go uh, resho, and if they get hit, you get 5k 2d knockdown into Gamma again, and you slowly start pushing them to the corner. Now, they're further away from Chip now, so now the new setup from that point is to run up and like, wait, because they're already close to the corner and you're already you're already in a winning in favorable position. So from corner to mid screen setup, now you're in the other side of the screen, off of just two setups, off of two like confirms. It's too good. You're already in the corner, done. Now, in other cases, you can use micro dash, so blah, 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 sweet dash, micro, into gamma again. If, uh, and then the clone's gonna push them back again even further. And chip can recover in some cases where you can do leaf throw to beat the giganter. So it's like, wow, I have all this shit that I can do? Really? So when, but when pot has no meter, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It does not matter. You can do blah, 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 sweet, uh, Resho, the, the, the rush punch, micro dash resho again, and it does the same thing. It's a little bit trickier on the timing, but the good thing is that the dash button gives you so much. The dash button gives you so much. It gives you way too much.
okay? It does way too much for you. Now that's just Potemkin. There's other stuff that I was coming up with that I'm like, this is just, this is freaking strong. So Chip has so many ways to like do things on Oki. It's just, I'm not all there yet. I will say, I think the biggest thing I would like to see is a more consistent situation and I, that I haven't come up with yet. I like to see a more consistent situation or what they're, I couldn't figure out exactly what the ground throw Oki was. was, was I, I couldn't figure out what ground Oki was, ground throw Oki was. Same with air throw. So I would just run up slight delay six eights of medium and hope to God I wouldn't get thrown or mashed out. Because six eights counter hit does massive amounts of damage. Um, Chip as a whole though, like he's good. He's way better now, way better. Those quality of life changes that were universal really, really helped him. The only nerf to the character, honestly, in my in my complete honest opinion, is the recovery from the air dashes, because it makes it harder for you to do stuff. Um, it makes it so Axel can punish your landing now with two H or two P, because of added landing recovery. Um, same with Potemkin, like, but I think Chip beats Potemkin even harder this 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 in this build. Um, oh, the other thing, the dash macro, and I showed this on, on my stream, I'm sorry, I'm not going to go back through the VODs, I'm going to edit this in most likely, but the dash macro plus alpha blade is actually cheap. At the round start, if you plink the dash macro into alpha, it matched the startup, right? So you see Chip barely run, and he'll do alpha blade, and he'll just cross you up from like just literally the round start. That's how good the dash macro is. Like, the dash macro makes a lot of things for Chip mad good. So, like, you get a lot out of him. You get a lot out of that, that move. I feel like Alpha Blade... Like, Chip's entire kit is based on conditioning people. And once you condition people, the sky's the limit. You can completely abuse your opponent. Because if they're pressing buttons on your frame traps, if Chip hits you with counter hit 2H on a frame trap, that's too much damage. You're going to take way too much that. damage. That's all we got. Counter hit 2H with Resho. Micro dash, close slash, jump slash, air dash slash into like whatever. Or you can just go for the easy thing, which would be with, with Rekka. 2H counter hit launch with Rekka. That micro dash, close slash, delay 2 slash, delay 2H into uh, Gamma Blade. And you take you take him to the corner. Easy, easy like 150, easy 170 damage, and then plus plus corner. Like everything Chip has is designed to throw you to the corner so that he can just abuse the shit out of you. Gamma Blade is meant to condition people too, and it's even better in the corner. I do think that that move should not just be plus one. I think his Gamma Blade should be like plus three or plus four or some shit. Like it doesn't have to be like old Gamma because old Gamma was plus five. Plus four is sufficient. You know, it's, it's plus four sufficient. I have no problem with the plus four. Like, let it fit the game, you know? Oh, Chip versus Nago is really bad for Nago. Everyone thinks because Chip gets one shot, he's a terrible character. And you play against him and it's like, how the hell do I hit him? The only true way to beat Chip in this version right now, you randomize him or you punish his jump mobility. That's it. That's it. That's the only way you're beating that character right now. You have to outplay the shit out of him. Because the jump the jump recovery hurts him. Like it, it just does. It just hurts him. But like, you have to put shit in his way. Because his buttons are still better than everyone else's. Alright? And if he makes you freeze up, he can take advantage of Gamma Blade's plus one. But if you know it's plus one, then you can challenge. But the only way you're gonna challenge him is if you use a low move. Because he can he can he can counter your counter with a 6P if you still got a good mid. Right? So you have to stick out a good long range low to stop him from that point. Or he can press 5k and he's still in the money. Because 5k raises his hurt box. Just like old games. So he's in the money at that stage. Like it doesn't matter what you do now. You have to have a quick reversal or something like that. So like it's a guessing game after Gamma. But like if he conditions you it can be lights out. Because then you're like I'm going to I'm gonna not press a button. Right? So if he does Rekka's into delayed Rekka it's negative right? Just like it's always been. But if you get counter hit by that shit, he gets the bonsai kick guaranteed. And that's more damage. Second record into, into, into third record, the bonsai kick, the overhead, that's guaranteed. 
he gets 2S, 2H, delay record, and you start dying again. <laughs> it's like everything that they did for him is like so, it's, it's, it's coming more clear to me. Like I understand what you're supposed to do. And they made him this way because if he had his teleports and stuff like that, he'd be dumb. To be honest with you, I think Chip, right now, the only actual true nerf to the character is not having old Gamma Blade. That's the only nerf to the fucking character. 100%. Anyone else tells you otherwise, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna just say here right now, they don't know what the hell they're talking about. You know why I say this? Because Chip has no good button to whiff punish really active moves anymore. Like, Chip has to hold more long range normals now. Gamma was his way to expose that. But since Gamma is a projectile that's a physical at the same time, like, it's not. Like, they can hit, like they can hit the clone. So when I was playing my homie Stealth last night with Anji, 6H was putting in mad work because I don't have a. I don't have a good consistent way to whiff punish it, right? It's and when I say that, I, it's not, I'm not saying I can't whiff punish it, but it's so active that I can't stuff it. Like Gamma Blade was Chip's way to be like, oh, you whiff something big, boom. Now Combo City, let's go. That's the actual nerf to the character. He doesn't need teleport. He doesn't need any of that shit. He needs old Gamma, or he needs this current Gamma to be more positive on block, to maintain pressure, to make you think harder. That's it. And I'll put I'll those out there. I'm not really, I'm not trying to shit on any OG chip players when I say what I'm saying, mind you. But there are some people who are sheep that don't know. They only follow a certain thing when it comes to a character. And like the OGs kind of know what he's missing. It's not, and it's, in my honest, honest opinion, it's not the teleport. I think not, I think him not having old Gamma Blade is the number one thing that separates him from being, I think that's the thing that separates him from being like the best character in the game. I think he would potentially be the best character in the game if he had that. I, he, him not having plus frames off of his normals kind of sucks. I think his close slash should be plus again, but nothing more than plus two, and he'd be fine. You know, they can even speed up that normal if they like, and I think that'd be okay. But they opened up all these abilities for Chip to frame trap the shit out of people. So, like, if you start pressing buttons, like, it's like if you freeze up, he's got command grab. If you press, you eat record or you eat 2H. If you try to disrespect Gamma, you get you get clapped again. Like he has so many ways to keep you in this guessing game from just putting pressure on you. Other than that, I think Chip, all that, all, to me, all that stops Chip from not being the best character is Gamma Blade. The end. Well, Gamma Blade and the new nerfs to mobility. That's it. Other than that, I wholeheartedly believe Chip is mad good in this beta. If they take away the recovery, the landing recovery nerfs, He's contending. He's a con he's a contender for best in the game. Oh, and if they remove the counter hit state from freaking, I really think they need to take that away. They need to take away the counter hit landing recovery from shooting. I think that's actually unfair. That's actually probably the other than gamma. I think that's the most unfair thing to, to the character. I think it's very unfair. Chips and counter hit state for all kinds of weird things where other characters aren't on recovery. I think that's bullshit. Like Nagaruki, when you block his super, he's not a counter hit state. You know, you block Chip's uppercut, he's in counter state. And Chip is the only character that has an uppercut that when you block it, it's like a normal uppercut. Soul and Kai is kind of wonky to, to punish. Especially Soul. Especially Soul. But at the end of the day, Chip has everything. 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 He is literally next to being the best character in the game, in my opinion. It's just people are not going to see it because they're going to be like, uh, Think, Mark, think. Don't get hit. Oh, when Chip gets hit twice, you're dying. Yeah, okay. Hit him. Play a good Chip and try to hit that character. But right now, no one's trying to, like, there are a select few players who play Chip that are playing him well. I'm not saying that there aren't any. That there aren't any. That would be a complete cap, right? But when, when he's played properly, like, you can't fuck with him. It's just point blank simple. You just cannot fuck with him. I feel like the only character in the game at the moment that keeps Chip in check is Axel. As of right now. And it's only because of the nerfs and mobility. But like when you get next to that character, it's lights out. It is lights out. That's probably the one character I fought the most across all the betas. It's freaking Axel. It ain't Naga Ryuki, it's not Potemkin, it's not Zato. It's it's that it's pretty much Axel. And it's all because of the ability to punish the recoveries. <clears throat> now I could say more on Chip, but I think that pretty much covers it. I think he has the potential to outplay everything in the game.